Hey guys and welcome to Farming Simulator 2017 on Green River. Of course, credit where credit's due. These are the people, or this is the group, I don't know, who made the map. And now the farmers must say, fantastic, fantastic map. So, you guys may have seen this on a live stream so the last couple of times. Uh, I've jowled with this map really nicely. I just don't see too many people doing videos on it, so uh, yeah, even more of a plus. So I thought after Dramard, and I, I want your guys' opinion on this. Should I continue Dramard? I'm kind of in limbo. I may end up doing a episode on it this week and ask the same question on that episode. But I'm very much in the limbo of that. So we have I'm switch on the lights. We've got some of these fields planted, or planted, I wish, ploughed and cultivated. We have field 27, 19 and 18. Meant to get a grass field before starting the video and I forgot. Yay! Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. There's reasons why we should own a grass field. Uh, roads there, so we'll come off this way. The Optum and the Puma that you'll see in the video is... A edited version of the in-game stuff by Timber131. So this field here is the one I'm probably going to buy for uh, reasons. So we'll take come into the farmyard here. Now I believe this map was around in FS15 from what I've heard. Also I've had people say this map was is a uh, from the Netherlands, or that side of the pond, I guess, if you want to call it, or that side of the world. The map of the fields are very, very flat, so it kind of would explain it. Uh, let's check out the fields here. I can't remember what needs planned, what needs cultivated, and cultivated, cultivated. 19. Ooh. That little section didn't get done. Son of a gun. Oh, well, the tractor back, too. Uh, so we need to go over into 19. Sweet. So, no, hard worker, switch off. We'll fold this up. So I do want to say as well, Auto Combine Auto Tractor is now under the name AI Game Extension. That seems to be very nearly done. I, I have it. It is currently available from the GitHub, where the author has sort of asked people if they know about the, that place. Feel free to test it and let them know on issues. So, I won't provide a link. I'll let you guys search it just because it is beta and it could screw your game up. Every mod that is in is in sort of very early stages of development could screw up your game. It's a risk you take. Uh, no, nah, we'll leave that out in the open. Kind of like it though. Just a little bit of yard clutter. So I have been testing that, and I must admit, it seems like it is working better than it ever did. It's definitely had an overhaul. Definitely need to learn more about it. What is holding me up? That was weird. I had plenty of room either side. So I hope you guys enjoy this map. I'm going to run the series through on this one. I was enjoying it so much, I couldn't help but not do a series on it. Rolling doors. These doors open too. Uh, so I actually edited this map for the first time ever I've done this. I did a workshop space in here. Uh, believe it or not, I didn't have one. Also, the silos, which are ingenious. They were a little bugged. They had grain. Uh, where is it? It's all the way down there. They, the grain goes up when you sort of tip into there, and it was screwing up. It was just glitching through the ground. So I uh, just moved that down in G and everything, and got that sorted. Which. It, was, uh, it wasn't too hard, actually. I was pleasantly surprised. So we fixed up 
the map a little bit, I'll just show you what I mean down here quick. So we've got more sort of barns here. I believe this is the cows and the sheep are there. But here is the silos. So I, I couldn't figure out sort of before. I'll open this up. That comes out. So if I hit O, the sound comes on. You wait for the light to go green and then everything kicks in. Now it's that stuff there that was coming up and before it was glitched through here. So I just moved it down a bit, fixed that. And I couldn't figure out how on earth I tipped the grain to my trailer to sell it. Well, you have to come over to the computer and do it. There's sort of the control panel there. and oh, Pretty slick. I like that. I like stuff where it's user interaction. I think more maps need it, personally. I really do. Sorry about that. I had a... Runny nose, I just had the sneezing fit before starting recording. Alright, so we'll head back to field. Uh, what was it? 27. Now, as you can tell by the shape of the fields, they're not all just square and boring. Some of them are, yes. A good chunk of them are, but they are different shapes as well. And you can see pallets there for the seed and fertilizer and all that good stuff. Hard standard for trailers. Uh, today, what I'm hoping to do is hay. And. Uh, get some hay bales. I'm going to stick to what I said and I said on Dremard that I was going to get some cows. Now I'm saying and I'm going by people are getting sort of bored of Dremard by the fact of the views on it were massively down compared to what they were at one point. So that tells me, and I've said this before in videos, if the views aren't there, it's obviously people are losing interest in there. Can't remember what day it was, I asked in a live stream and I had a few people say, yeah, I think it's time. So, if it is time, I think uh, Drum Mod will be tomorrow's video. We'll tell from that video, I'll ask the same question. Let me know in today's video, bear in mind I will be recording them back to back. So you will be definitely getting a Drum Mod video. And it will be our time to say farewell to the map. It's a map that... Honestly, I've not enjoyed. Uh, I don't think it's... Oh, it's cultivation I need to do over here. Son of a gun. It's a map that I've not enjoyed, really. I just grinned and bear it, bear it kind of thing. I can't believe I made that mistake. Oh, that's right, because I had the cultivator on it. Why do I have the plow on here? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I had the puma attached to the cultivator. Yep, back with it. So as I was saying, it's a map that I've grinned and enjoyed, sort of, bad. I was enjoying my time on it. Definitely not my style, not the fact it's Irish, just the fact that I think... Field-wise, it ruined the map. But hopefully there'll be a... better Irish map that comes out at some point. That's... functionable and uh, just generally nice. this map does have a wash bay as you guys can see here so we'll be wait we will be washing our machinery all right back this up so this is a puma 165 so I had someone say you've gone red on this map haven't you Landy yeah not quite <laughs> You guys think I'd have a map and not have a John Deere? Come on. But yeah, I thought I'd put a case on this map. I don't know why, I just... I'm in a case mood. So, case it is. And to be fair, they're not bad tractors. I've, I've never not liked them. It's more of a case of, uh, I just prefer John Deere, so... They're the ones I kind of shine to. One thing I will say is I find the guys who made this have got their stuff all over the place. Every billboard you see. There's two back to back. One at the farm, two here, the store has it. I think it's a little much personally, but I get why they've done it. And it definitely doesn't take away 
it's a beautiful looking map. No doubt about it. That's what we'll do is get this going here. Shouldn't take us too long. And then we'll load up a tractor, head down to the store. We'll actually have to convoy. Hopefully, I've got Follow Me installed. Because uh, we've got quite a few things down there to get. So do the cultivator, and as most of you know, this is hands down my favourite cultivator. It's the Lincoln K series, I think it is. It's the KRS series, I can't remember. I think it's the S actually, come to think of it. Fully mounted cultivator. I just don't know why I, I definitely had a shine to this one. Definitely a nice, nice unit indeed. And I'm glad I can spend the whole of FS17 with it, unlike in 15 where I couldn't spend too much time with it. Now I did pick up another trailer too, from the mod hub that was released. Definitely pleasantly surprised to see that one released after recent things that have happened. That's by the by. I want to give it a go and see what it looks like. Actually looking forward to using it. And I will, at some point, you guys may have seen it over in the distance there. We have a uh, helicopter. Yeah. We'll go for a fly, don't worry. We'll go for a fly. As soon as it came out, I was like, oh my god. Here it is, at long last, my helicopter. And I was trying to figure out a map that I could use it on again. Uh, before I used to use it on Stevie's map. Some of you will remember me playing on that map. And that was my fun map go to and just relax and play and all that well it's still gonna be so um, this is kind of gonna be part and part I'm still gonna do realistic gameplay but at the same time well we've got a private pilot's license and we've got a helicopter maybe one of the world's largest military helicopters but it's the next military hel helicopter branded in the farm's name <laughs> I'm a rich farmer you just guys don't know about it I wish uh, but yeah, I got that, because why not? It's just a bit of fun at the end of the day. I mean, we can play the game as seriously as we like, but you got to have some fun in the game. If you don't have fun, you're going to get burnt out really quick and not like it. On other news, though, Cadlin Crops. I meant to look last night, and Monjack happened to kind of remind me on this one and linked it for me. The roadmap for Cadlin Crops. Now, if I remember correctly, they said once they get to 70% on all of the sort of stuff for the first section which I believe is MS1 in their listing. 70% on that and under the subheadings that they've got sub what is the targets in there too. It's gonna get released. Well they're only working on the physics and multiplayer stuff right now so it's really close guys. Of course there's no date, there's no time, there's no nothing yet. But it's close. It's probably only a matter of maybe a month or weeks away, who knows, at this point. Really glad to see that coming along like that. And it will definitely be nice to have a chance to play on it and see it. Of course I will be trialing it, trialing it. I did get it already. Uh, I backed it. And it will be appearing on the channel. Hopefully it's one of these ones that will stick around and it has a good following. There's a lot of risks with it for them. A heck of a lot of risks. I'll drop this down and we'll pause and we'll come back when we're done. Alrighty, so we cultivated that field, which means time to clean these guys. Go into the store, so we'll give them a quick wash. Just to get most of the grime off of work in the soil yeah we'll even treat the plow to wash so I'm not going to use seasons on this map uh, like I've said before I want to keep one map at a time for seasons uh, seasons is a, an amazing mod but it will make you bored of the game if you use it on every single map you've got I, I will pretty warn you it's bit, well for me anyway uh, 
I won't say for you, but for me it would because of doing YouTube and everything and having a quicker pace at times in videos. There's no way you could do seasons all the time. Especially if maps sync up, so they're both on winter, they're both on... Oh, it would get so boring to watch. I know that for a fact. So we're not going to clean them all off 100%. We'll just... The implements, yes, but the tractor's not necessarily. Because they've still got work to do. Mainly grassland, though. So I'm not even sure if the grass on this map is giant's grass, a.k.a. the stuff you can't fertilise, or the stuff you can fertilise. I haven't looked, to be honest. Next. So I have got the John Deere plough here, or the ripper. I forget the model number. Where is it? Oh, there you go. 2100. Awesome piece of the machinery. I definitely enjoy using that one. And that'll do that. Switch that off, jump into this. So I will be doing some silage on this map. I mean, as a matter of fact, I do actually have a front loader on here. Yeah, I feel this is the map that I'm doing what I like doing on a map. And that's everyone that probably knows. I always tend to go down the route of military, ex-military vehicles at some point or another. Yes, it's happened again. So this can go over here for the time being. Just about there. Something like this would probably get left outside, I would imagine, anyway. And, okay, let's go... Actually... Yep, we can use this to ferry to 7810. So this will be the follow tractor as it's the slower one of the two. So I have a, pe a few pieces of equipment, nothing major to bring over. Actually, while we're here, let's check out the grass to see if we can fertilize it. If not, off camera, I will completely plow this. Ooh, we could be lucky, guys. Yeah, I think we can. Oh, awesome. Looks like it, anyway. So, uh, what we'll do is we'll jump into this line that up. Hopefully, hopefully we've got... Oh, wrong one. Come on. There we go. Yes, we have it. Speed! And away we go. Switch on the beacons. And we we go. So I will uh, meet you guys down there and we'll show you the trip on the way back. Alrighty, so we have our auto load trailer with Dolly, our Lily Winrow, and our Pottinger Tedder, which may get swapped out, I don't know. We do have quite a bit of ground to cover. So we'll switch off the. Uh, will this work? It may not work the way I want it to, guys. Yes, waiting, perfect. So we'll back this up to the trailer I'm going to leave down here for the time being. And we'll back up to the tether. And hook that up now. I, I'm not a fan of the stuff spawning inside the building, personally. It may, it may be able to spawn out here too, I would hope. Actually, you might as well just cancel that. And grab the window row. Just because of the amount of room you have, it kind of eventually gets full a lot quicker, I guess. In the face of it, we wouldn't. Unless stuff does spawn outside, I don't know, it may. It may start in here and work its way out. I've not loaded this area full of stuff. Probably not going to neither. But I. I would imagine it could get full really quickly, that's all. 
All right, so shift, no, control F. There we go. Walk over to the John Deere. Yeah, I'm good to go. I don't know why I've got my lights on. I think I accidentally put them on. Now the road traffic, oh, the road traffic, jeez, the uh, traffic does seem like it can go at quite a lick of speed. So you got to watch out for them. They could hit into you and be become a nuisance very quickly. They uh, haven't become a nuisance yet for me personally. Unlike some maps where they go going Mac chicken speed and uh, got full trailer bales, and uh, you want to say a few choice words, let me tell you. Can get pretty uh, brutal. I wanted to wait there, but yeah, we're good. Okay, the tractor that I was going to mow with is this one. That being said, I kind of want the power to. So we're going to make some hay. To begin with, we're going to do a barley crop or a wheat crop next. I'm not too sure where I can store the bales, though. That's the thing, that this this map doesn't have a ton of, ton of storage for that type of thing. That being said, I don't have seasons on, so I can store them outside. Which is nice, but at the same time, a pain. No, this tractor doesn't have the most horsepower in the world, so hopefully it should cope with these, okay? So the map I will try and put in the mod spreadsheet. Probably as soon as I'm done recording this, so I remember. Uh, same with the uh, tractors that you see there. Now they are off Timber's Facebook page, they're not on any website, so the links may or may not break. Depending on when you find this video, um, the links could be active, they may not be. I noticed recently some of my, or one in particular mod, was broken in my mod spreadsheet. So if you guys ever find that happening, let me know, hit me up on the comments section or Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or wherever. Let me know, guys. So this is a big old field. Wow, it's, yeah, huge. So we'll do the outside around. It does look like it's the stuff they can fertilize, which is very nice. Okay, that there was the AI vehicle extension. I want to do this myself. I enjoy mowing. It's, uh, I, I don't like letting stuff do that. I know some people... That was me. <laughs> I know some people do it, but that's not for me. Mowing's relaxing, I find. And that was me goofing by uh, hitting the wrong button there. I'm surprised I didn't have the front mower down too. Jeez, this is a huge field. Why is it not on again? Oh, there's not enough. That's weird. I've powered this before. There we go. Oh, it kicks it out. I've never seen that before. Interesting, okay. That's new. Uh, no joke, uh, the other day I literally powered this up and moved it around the yard. Both of them. Uh, looks like we're swapping to a... different vehicle. Hmm, okay. I've never seen that in the game before. It would make sense. These both of the, this machine it doesn't have a lot of power. It really doesn't. 
So here is the uh, helicopter. It is in mod spreadsheet. I covered up the military logos as per their instructions when I got the vehicle. Also underneath her. Can't quite see it, but we'll take it for a spin in a bit. Alright, let's find a another track here. Use your JCB. JCB should have enough guts. Alright, we'll drop the there. Throw the front weight. Oh, where's a good spot for them so I won't lose the darn things? I tend to do that a lot. Probably right next to the building here, actually. Now, something I do need to put in the map and in my mods. Sort of list what. When you load in, is the different front weights I tend to use. I haven't got them in there for whatever reason. I didn't realise that until, well, again today and yesterday, when I was live streaming. Alright, let's see if we can get this field done now. Oh, the amount of time I've wasted doing this, but you live and learn by your mistakes, guys. I've always been an advocate of saying, hey, if you screw up, show it, because people learn from it. Got more than enough guts. So what I was going to do is go straight across here and then work on this area. Separately. Yeah, you can see the difference in grass. So the giant's grass is the stuff on the right hand side of the fence, closest to the road, and it's just one grass texture. The stuff on the left is the stuff you can fertilize. It's kind of got an earthy texture in there as well, kind of the dirt texture. So you can clearly see what the difference. It's a pain in the butt. It really is to see them, but you, you can see a difference slightly. So I may end up throwing cosplay on this. I don't know. I say I like mowing. I do like mowing. But whoa, buddy. There's a lot. A lot of money. A lot, a lot of money. And uh, going at 10 miles an hour too. So this little thing here is a water well. There's a couple of ways to get a water on this map it seems. Which is cool. But doing this type of thing, when I'm in the mood to play farm sim, off camera, and it's very rare it happens honestly. You'd be surprised how little a lot of us play farms and off camera just for our own enjoyment. This is what I love doing. Just mowing, just taking in the map, going along. I'd love to do this. If I have my music playing, my music playing, there's a radio. Oh, I'd be happy as poop. I really would. So we'll just do this little section. I'd be curious to see how the AI, uh, the AI extension copes doing this stuff. It definitely would be interesting to make. Give it a test in a minute, actually. See how it copes. But I'll do this paddock here. Sort of split it into segments, and then just straight up and down there, where the chopper is. We'll probably leave that scrubby per se and we're coming up to 29 minutes so probably within the next couple I will go for a fly for you guys and then we'll be off to record some drama for the last time I probably will bring it to a close I just want to see your guys opinion on it so please let me know in the comments down below there will be a drama video tomorrow. Now these are the bigger mowers too. So I think ideally I could do with the next tractor up. I may... I may swap this out for the 4000. I don't know. Or I may just get the 4000... Uh, 
4,000? No, not the 4,000. The 8,000 as well. As this, so I'll have... What? At that point, five tractors. I've got the Puma, the two cases, the John Deere, and this right now. So I've got four. Tractors out, and I've got the little Zetter that... I may just get rid of. I've got no use for a tractor like that, to be honest, right now. Especially on this map. So we'll probably get rid of that. Okay, so one more pass. And then we'll be putting on a flying gear and we'll be going for a flight. So this map I'll probably work off camera quite a bit. It will be a live stream map as well. It's a map that, as I say, I'm, I'm really enjoying, so I'm going to play the crap out of it. Uh, I'll get some. I should have done it this episode because how big these fields are and the equipment that we've got. I will get the cedar going probably off camera tonight, and I'll finish up mowing this field. There's no promises that you guys see the baling because I may end up doing that off camera too. I do enjoy doing it. And uh, figure out some places to store some bales. We may have to put some placeables down, which. Because the map's flat, it kind of is perfect for that. Just uh, I'll cultivate the ground where I want to put a shed. Because there's a little trick to that, I don't know if people know. And that is you can place a placeable down, sell, sell it. So if you've got or added cash in to do this, that's the best way of doing it. And then you can uh, see basically the surrounding area from it because the grass will never grow there again. So do that. Cultivate that little area, or plow that little area, and cultivate it, and it'll look legit, effectively, because it's just textured dirt. And this is probably which, what you'd store the bales on. As I'm getting into doing some G work and editing, I may uh, figure out how to make a placeable area on this map. We don't know. I don't know. It, it depends if there's barns to do that in. Uh, store bales. I, I like stuff where I can store bales away from the yard, so that is a possibility. Like down up in the sheep area, or I don't know where else. Not the sheep area, the cow area. The pigs, jeez, get there in the end. Alright, that was the past. I think I did an extra one there, I said I wasn't going to do. So we'll switch that off. That off. And finally, the tractor. So we'll head up into the helicopter like I promised. We'll go for a fly. And I'll show you guys around the map. Just to finish off the video. So the helicopter, as I said, is in my mod spreadsheet. I put that in there the first time I used it because I knew people would ask about it. As it stands, I'm probably not going to change the textures too much. I'm very happy the way it looks. Uh, the reason I did put the my logo on it just like that was, well, if you know anything about secondhand military machinery, or aircraft especially, if they, they're disused, they'll spray paint their markings. And it's literally just black spray paint. So that's kind of what I was mimicking there, and I slapped my logo on it. So, to start it, you just start it like normal. It is pretty loud, it holds a lot of fuel, so the day I need to fill this, put it this way, it's gonna hurt. Put our lights on. If I start it properly. Yeah, our lights are on. So the ramp opens as well. I could put the John Deere in there if I wanted to, but I'm not going to just for this. Is it starting up? Yeah, there it goes. And now we have our HUD down there. So left mouse button lifts it up. I do want to put the controls, all the controls on a uh, controller at some point. Do have some sort of interior, nothing moves or anything. So what do we have? We've got this field here that I believe we own. Yeah, field 19. We've got the nice town area. Park, pond, fish pond kind of thing. Uh, that there is the pig area, so that's kind of, I see a big barn there, that could be the bale storage. Uh, what looks to be a log, 
yard or some sort of competition down there. Uh, the BGA plant. Down in here again, more storage. So that's the edge of the map, so we'll cut around the side here. So the helicopter does go at a good look of speed, as you guys can see, we're doing what, almost 100 miles an hour now. The map does have the compost machine, or compost maker, down there by the greenhouse. So pretty much any non-used bales or just general crap we can put in there, get compost out of it, which is kind of neat. Some more fields of various different shapes and sizes. Which yes, they're flat, they're square, they're kind of boring. That's the landscape that I like on this map. Uh, this is the animal cell point question mark? No, the animal cell point's actually over there. That's just a cell place. The end of the road there. Now this road here I like. Was that a place, Blair? Oh no. Took a while to spawn in. What is that? A cell point? These small roads here, I've actually got bollards in there that you have to put down, so the farm access only. Love that. Such a unique feature I've never seen that before in the game. Here, this up here where the forest is, I'll gain some attitude, because I do believe that it's supposed to be a logo of some sort. I don't know. It's just it seems very purposely shaped and sculpted. I oh, know, it kind of seems like that to me. But there's the map, in a nutshell. And that's what a map looks like from the air. Pretty cool, eh? And we have gone and got the largest grass field on the map by the look of it. Oh dear. So the field just there. Uh, if I can bring up. Just thinking, how can I bring up my cursor? I don't think I can. Uh, but just where the tips of the blades are going past there, that's our field. Again, on the right hand side. Over there, that's ours. And you can, again, just there, you can see them. Our fields. So, what we'll do is go forward, start dropping off some altitude, and come in for. Oh, landing. We are definitely over time here, so I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, I will call it quits here, and uh, again let me know all about Dramart, and I will see you tomorrow on the last ever episode of Dramart, catch you guys later, see ya.